and everyone. I'll try and be brief. <clears throat> I am a person living with HIV for the past 17, 17 years. Wow. 24 years. Whoops, I'm losing track. 87, I don't know, do the math. I've been working in Florida for the past 20 years, and I've been working with Ryan White programs for the past 20 years. And I'm here to say to everyone that this is an easy way out, and it's unacceptable. And I oppose reducing eligibility for clients accessing services in Florida, completely. This is, once again, a short, quick, knee-jerk response from the state instead of doing a comprehensive solution with the partners that it impacts. This problem has been going on for three years. And for more than three years, they've been telling us everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, we have a wait list. Then all of a sudden, they make changes and they reduce formulary. And now all of a sudden, they're proposing to lower the eligibility. Instead of saying with the partners, the local areas, the other funding, we have a problem, how do we come up with solutions? There's been a, an audit report from the federal government that has shown a number of, uh, of things that are unbelievable that's happened in the Bureau of HIV AIDS ADAP program. We need accountability for what's going on there, and we need to come up with solutions. There are other programs that are less important that don't let people die that we can either fund through some other program or do some other way. But if we don't get medications to people, people die. So the Bureau needs to come up with either a new advisory group or use one of your existing advisory groups to come up with solutions on how do we cut costs so that we can make it so that not one person leaves this ADAP program. Because if you have to be on ADAP and you lose it, you die. It's that simple. So lowering eligibility is not the solution. Partnerships with the communities and the agencies and the other funding streams is the way to, to come up with a solution that's the best case scenario until we get additional funding. So I ask everybody to oppose this because it's short-sighted and it doesn't take into effect people will die if they, if they lose their ADAP coverage. Here, here. Thank you, everybody.